So I've been sitting here for well over an hour. I have a strict delivery window between 6.15 and 7 o'clock. Well, I waited until past 7, made some phone calls. Apparently the trailer's done. It's sitting in a dock, but it has a red pin lock on it, which means we can't touch it. He said, no worries, we'll send somebody right out. Well, that was more than 30 minutes ago. Nobody's come. No sign of life. Let me tell you my first experience with taking this load. Well, this will tell you something. I pull up to the gate, ask which trailer number it is. The guards at the gate start laughing because they know, they already know, like nobody wants this load. I talk to the other drivers. The moment I mention this load, they start laughing and shaking their head. They know. When I call the control center for this customer, they have indicated to me that the store's been a constant issue. You know, some people say, why don't the truck drivers just be patient? What's the big rush? Let me explain to you what happened. The load down here to Lubbock, Texas paid the truck payment and my overhead for fuel. Tomorrow's load is what's going to put me in the green into actual profit, right? If I miss tomorrow's load, I don't make money. I spent two and a half days on the road without making a damn thing. So the reason truck drivers get so testy about this is because quite literally, this little ignorance just took food off my family's table because somebody's failing to communicate. Mind you, we're the ones bringing food. They want you here within a 60 second, give or take, otherwise you're done. But then they're gonna let you sit for hours. Last time I think it was three and a half hours I sat. They just let you sit. Oh, oh, this gets better. So just called the call center. Turns out the whole, hey, we're coming right out. Sorry, the trailer's done. Utter bullshit. They apparently lied um, because they didn't want to look bad that they weren't on schedule. So call. They admitted like, the trailer actually isn't done and they just don't want to get in trouble for it. So here's what I've done. I have been constantly making phone calls because I'm not going to put up with this. I'm not going to lose a day of pay because some dumbass doesn't want to communicate. They have 15 minutes. If they do not have this trailer done, the National Control Center is going to have me take back that loaded trailer and pay me for my time. That is what has just been indicated. And then the store is going to have a service failure. That is how you handle things. It's ridiculous. More pissed off about the communication. They could have said, hey, we, we have a problem. The trailer's not done. They could have told me. Not said, we'll meet you at the trailer. We'll come right out. I could have been doing something else. I could have taken a nap. Could have went for a walk, something. Don't tell me to be at the ready and then get caught in a lie. I, I'm just so pissed right now. I am just so pissed right now.